back YouTube. It is fall. The leaves are changing colors. And I'm here on the Colonial Parkway in the Hampton Roads area, right on the Virginia Peninsula. Today I want to talk about some things I like about my 2019 Super Dubrex SCI Limited. I have to emphasize Limited because some of the things I like is specific to this trim level. First of all, I like the engine. It is a 2.5 liter engine, 310 horsepower, 290 foot -ton pounds of torque. It's been around for a while, so that means that Subaru has had time to refine the engine over the years, fix all the problems. Most of the things that really get wrong is when you really abuse the engine. Number two, it is a very practical car. It's got five seats, plenty of truck space. It's basically a pretty good daily driver. Even the Civic Type R doesn't have five seats. They kind of did something to the middle seat. There's not even a seat belt there. So plus points for that. Plus points for the Type R because it's got a hatchback. I wish Subaru would uh, have a hatchback for this car. Um, it's got plenty of cup holders, two map pockets in the back, got plenty of power, got two um, uh, DC power outlets, two USB, so good um, connectivity, maybe a little struggle if you're in the back, but you can still kind of open up and get access to what you need. So number three, I feel like this car does have a decent amount of power for a boost. It's a 2.5 liter engine. So that means it is a large four cylinder engine. Something you'll find in a, in a Cord or a Camry. Like back in the 90s, like that kind of big. But in the package of a compact car. So that, that's kind of cool. Like you still have plenty of power, you don't have to worry about truck can get up to speed if you don't feel like getting into boost. And also, performance after boost is pretty good. Uh, number four, I really like the sound system. So this is one of the limited edition specific items. So this car has a Harman Kardon line speaker system. And one thing that's not limited edition specific is for the 2019 year, this car does have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Number five, okay, I need to slow down here because I am in a construction zone. So number five is the handling. It's, it's completely flawless. I can do anything I want around any turn. And the steering is still run by um, hydraulics. Like the like a new technology like the like electronics exist. We don't know how good that technology is. I'm happy I still have a hydraulic steering um, setup. Number six, the transmission. The transmission is it's a six-speed manual, of course. It's really solid, indestructible. Within reason, I'm sure you can find ways to destroy it, but this transmission is probably more powerful than the engine itself. From what I've known, um, it can um, handle six, seven, eight hundred horsepower uh, through it without really any updates. Number seven, the symmetrical all-wheel drive system is really great. I've got this sis, this car in March, so I don't know how it performs in snow. I had a 16 WRX. I was very impressed on it in snowy conditions. Uh, I really, it's confidence inspiring. I don't feel like I'll be be less stranded. Um, it also is pretty good um, off the beaten path, as you've seen in a previous video. I did take it up White Top Mountain and. It wasn't too technical of a road, but I didn't have any problems. Even though 
uh, they say that to go up to that up up the mountain you do need all wheel drive. The um, number eight ergonomics. Um, I feel like, and I'm not sure if this is a standard or only in limited edition, but you got eight-way power seats and it's so much easier to find the perfect seating position. Even after you take it to an oil change, people change the way things are set up and then I get back in and my 16 dub Rex, it will take me like a day to figure out how to get my seating position back. Um, also, the steering wheel is pretty good. I like it more than the WRX one. It's got this perforated leather at the 3.9 that I really like. It's perfect for for gripping, especially even if you have sweaty palms. It doesn't really bother, bother me that much. And the shifter, the shifter is really good. So it's it's a uh, the short throw standard on the WRX STI, I uh, have no problems with it. The short the throws are very short. Um, it's just probably one of the best shifters I know of. And then finally, let's see here, number nine. Uh, this is a safety feature. I'm not sure if this is standard on all STIs, but the adaptive headlights. So what that means is when you turn the steering wheel, the lights will actually kind of move to the left or right depending on how you have the steering wheel so and also super says the lights are so bright that you don't need fog lights so that's why there's no fog locks on the WRX STI for I think the 18 and 19 model years and then finally number 10 um, I really like the braking it's all need to very responsive um, powerful and if you see my Interstate 81 video it's actually kind of helped me out um, when I have to make a brake really hard for a truck that was in front of me or traffic was in front of me and the cars behind me were not able to respond as well as I was so that's it for this video and see you next time